Are you a woman in business? Are you looking to join the growing ranks of female entrepreneurs taking over the world? You've come to the right place. On Babes in Business, we'll be covering all things business from the female perspective and giving you the tools to empower you on your journey. So now, let's get ready to be empowered on Babes in Business. Hi, good evening. Welcome to Babes in Business. I am your host, Michelle Dempsey, your HBIC head babe in charge. I have another babe here with me tonight. We'll get to her in just a minute. Um, it's officially the last week before the Women in Power Expo, and I can't even begin to tell you guys how I'm feeling in here, in here, all over the place. I'm super excited. I'm really, really, really insistent that everybody watching go online, www.womeninpowerexpo.com. Buy yourself a ticket. It'll be the best $30 you ever spend in your life. Come hear me speak at 3.30. Come hear Alexa Carlin speak at 1.30. That's the girl, the girl who single-handedly put the whole thing together and is now responsible for getting thousands of women in the South Florida area together to empower each other. Um, Got to throw a huge shout out to Miss Galena Ehrman, who was on our show last week. Thank you, Galena. You brought lots of good vibes here, and we love that. But tonight is all about keeping the faith. I want to throw this over to my... Um, guest here this evening and you'll understand why I made that little joke in a second. Hi Faith, how are you? Hi Michelle. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Tell us a little bit about your business. Plug it hard. Give us your website. Okay. Take Beautiful. the stage. Thank you. Uh, my name is Faith Washington. I am a professional business and life coach currently. I'm also a pharmacist by trade. Um, also, you. thank you Michelle. Also, I uh, am a certified strength and conditioning specialist and a certified personal trainer done a lot of things in my life and uh, currently we're on the show to talk about my book a little bit and the book is based on leadership which I'm very passionate about and if you know me you know that I'm super passionate about women in leadership roles because I think it's possibly the best thing ever but um, I just have to go back one second she just introduced a lot of things when you first reached out to me, it was Faith S. Washington, acronym, 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 acronym. It went on for like three days. I was like, all right, I'm just going to talk to her and see what's going on here. What is it like to introduce yourself or to sign a document and have all, I mean, that's got to feel good. Yeah, it's great. It really is. It, it's been a lot of work. It yeah. really is something I'm very proud of. So it's Nice to sign my name. And Can we just initials. do like an acronym sure. breakdown? Absolutely. The, okay. the BS Farm is because I'm a pharmacist. RPH is registered pharmacist, so I have two different licenses in two different states. Um, also, a CPT is a certified personal trainer, and a CSCS is a certified strength and conditioning specialist. Amazing. Are you going <laughs> for more, or are you... No. N not, not currently. Not yet. You never know. You never right, know. I just have to <laughs> say that we're so lucky to have Faith on the show, especially because she's doing a giveaway. What are you giving us tonight? Um, actually, strategy sessions. Free strategy sessions. Okay. For and I have spoken it. to her. She, you know, also, I love strategy. I always talk about strategy and I were not friends at one point, and now I can't live without it. But if you really, you know, feel that you are lacking something in your life and you need a little clarity and guidance, you've found the best, please give us a call at... 888-565-1470 and Faith will be giving you a free strategy session. Okay, so of all the acronyms, of everything you do, the beautiful smile, the toned arms, all of that, you're a best-selling author. Yes. For me, this is like, hopefully I can get to this place one day. Tell me a little bit about the progression into best-selling author land. Just, it was very exciting just starting a whole new career. Um, even though I'd done coaching in, at the corporate level, it wasn't the same as doing it professionally right. where I'm actually dealing with clients at a very deep level. And then the leadership piece of it's so important to me that I really felt compelled to write about it. So I thought, all right, I'll start out small. And I found a publisher and wrote this. And the next one will be a larger piece. And wow. this is a multi-author book, so next one will be single author. So at what point, because I know the whole leadership and the coaching thing is newer for you. Right. At what point did you decide, okay, this is something I need to put on paper and needs to get out there into the world? I'm, I'm asking for selfish reasons. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was, it was earlier this year when I really knew that so much of what I had been reading and had studied was not heart-centered. It wasn't about 
you're being self-aware and others aware. And I think those things are very vital to building relationships. The core of every business, the success of every business is built on relationship building. If you're not able to do that, you're a manager. A manager is going to be someone who does things in a micro way right. and doesn't get the productivity and results that a leader does. So now in your line of work, are you when you get calls from new clients, are these people in leadership roles? Generally speaking, and yes. are you helping refine their? Yes. Wow, tell yes. me a little bit about that. Uh, it's it's very exciting and it's different for every person. So we'll have an entrepreneur who calls and their business is, you know, they're either in a startup or they're established, so they have different needs and their desires or or what they need to work on can be very different. It right. can be solely on their business, but generally you start to look at the internal aspects ah, of them. Interesting. And once they see, that, hey, they've got some blind spots and they've got some obstacles in the way and you move those out of the way and then they're like, wow, I, I didn't see that before. Just like I started out. Right. I started out with a coach Yeah. and she coached me right up. There were a lot of things that were missing for me that I needed to, to get clear on. So... That's, how that's often how we do. do you see, you know, the leadership style being influenced by what's going on internally? Is that is that like a no brainer? All, all the, the time. time, all the time. Yeah, they they might not be aware of it, but it's there. So we're in this place now where we could potentially have a female running this country. Mm -hmm. um, leadership is, you know, on the topic of everybody's dinner tables right now. What for you makes a good leader, especially in a woman? Someone with integrity. Authenticity. Authenticity. Absolutely self-aware. Aware of others. Just so aware that what you do and what you say and how you behave impact everyone around you. Your family, your employees, every single person. If you're speaking, just like you do, Michelle, when you're speaking to other people, you're having impact. And to me, that's the greatest part of leadership possible. It's funny you say that. I was having breakfast yesterday with two of my clients and we were talking about there's so many women who do what I do there's so many women who do what you do but I know for me what has formed the connection for my clients and myself is the fact that I am authentic I'm deeply authentic if you know me you know that I get involved in every little aspect of your life and I do really care I want to know if you were able to find the sock to match the dress that you told me about six months ago I don't I hold on to every part of the people that I know because that's the level of my authenticity. And it's at this point, it's so clear when, when somebody either gets up on stage or solicits business from you, who has that piece. And it's, it's interesting you say that because I, I obviously don't consider myself a leader. I'm a one woman show technically with a small team. Maybe I'm, I don't know. You are. You I are am? a leader. Tell you are, me. You're, tell a, me more. You're, you're a leader because the impact that you have isn't just in this room. The impact you have is with your team here. It is with all the women that you influence. It's with your clients. When they come to you and they, they talk to you and they share things, they share things about themselves and you authentically care. And so you're able to really get to the root of the things that they need to move out of the way. Right. Absolutely. You're, you're coaching them even, even though it might not be a title that you have, it's still something that you're, you're performing. You're helping them to see things more clearly. I think it's a real, it's an innate thing, right? Yep. You have to, how did you know Leaders you had do. that? How did you know you had that? <laughs> well, I've always had people tell me they wanted to be on my teams. Even pharmacy everywhere, people were like, I want to be on your team. Can I come and work at your store? Can I come and work with you? It's always been that way. Wow. Uh, forever. That has to be such a great feeling. Yeah, it is. Were you, now let's go back to like elementary school. Were you picked first or last for dodgeball? Um... I never, I don't really remember that. <laughs> I'm kidding. But it's just so funny because, you know, everybody goes through their progression into who they are now. That's and right. I know five, ten years ago, can, calling myself a leader would have never happened. I was, I was a completely different person, as I speak about quite often. And so now to think of myself in that way, you see, even for me, it was hard to say. So, you know, the one thing I do stand by is the authenticity. So it's funny that you, you bring that up. Yeah. So now, okay, take me through, you get a call from someone who really needs help and their leadership style is awful. It's more of a dictatorship than it is a, a collaborative <laughs> space. How do you pull that authenticity out of them and help them apply it without giving the farm away, obviously? I'm just curious. Right, how, right. how does that work? Um, it, it's really more 
of, of listening to them very, very, very carefully because people will tell you a lot in a simple conversation. They will tell you the depths of their soul if you listen very carefully. People run stories all day long. We all do. Right. It's just a, a part of being human. You're conditioned from a child. You're conditioned from an adult aspect that you hear things. I'm not enough or I'm not good enough or, you know what, I, I really don't deserve this. And one day they're going to find out that I'm a fraud. And that is so common. It is a common really? threat. It is a common threat. Some of the most successful people. I don't want anybody to find out. I'm a, I'm a fraud. Because they don't feel they deserve they don't their success. Feel like, yeah. Yeah, that's a crazy yeah. thing. Or because to me. because sometimes people are just so beyond the level that they're at, and they know that there's more. They know there's more inside of them. They just don't know how to bring it out. Wow. So we have a conversation, and you listen, and maybe it's not a great fit. See, I work with people that I would I really desire to work Same. with. I, I I'm not gonna work with people that just aren't a good fit for mm -hmm. my personality and and for what it is that they're trying to achieve. So. You have the conversation, you listen carefully, and then they're going to tell you. And then you move past those obstacles because I can hear it. I can hear within an hour, pretty much, there's, there's stuff there. But this is what I do. I don't look at people as if they need to be fixed. They don't. You mentioned that to me on the phone, and that actually stuck with me all day. Yeah. There's something very powerful about that. Because my inner stance is, if they're whole and complete, and I am too, really, let's just get to work. Let's just get to your goals. Let's get to your dreams. Mm -hmm. Because that way, there really isn't any obstacle except in your mind. Right. We shift the mind, and you move in that direction effortlessly. I love it. Speaking of shifting the mind, I will be talking 3.30 on Saturday at the Women in Power Expo about changing that mindset, that yeah. broken, challenged, victim mentality mindset into the whole other place where your life really begins. So I hope you'll join me at 3.30 on Saturday. We have to go to a break, but Faith, give us the goods. What's your website and your phone number in case nobody's able to call in tonight? Sure. We want to make sure that they can reach you. Sure, no problem. The phone number is 561-702-3986. And it's, uh, my website is still under construction. And the email, if you want to use that, is faithwashington, the number four, the letter U, at gmail.com. Faith Washington is a great name. It, it like, is. fits you, you know? You it. know me, Michelle Dempsey. <laughs> we'll be back after the break. See you soon. Thanks. Thank you for listening to Babes in Business. And let me tell you, if you're looking for a lawyer, I've got the guy for you. The show is brought to you by the Dempsey Law Firm PA, a civil litigation boutique specializing in personal injury and wills, trusts, and estate planning. The firm founder and attorney, Elliot Dempsey, serves clients across South Florida for issues ranging from auto accidents and slip and falls to your basic will or trust to protect your loved ones. We've all got loved ones, so he's the right guy to call for it. The Dempsey Law Firm can be found online at www.thedempseylaw.com or call them by phone at 954-667-8120. Tell them Michelle sent you. And don't forget, change is the law of life. Thank you for listening to Babes in Business. I am your number one babe in business, your host, Michelle Dempsey of Very Well Written, the business I founded to help other entrepreneurs get their businesses off the ground with great content, strategy, branding, social media, editing, and anything in the way of words. I've got you covered, www.michelledempsey.com, or you can call me at 305-469-7500. Don't forget to tune in every Tuesday night at seven o'clock to join me and a fellow babe in business. Talk all things business. Can't wait to see you there. Are you feeling empowered to be a babe in business? Just when you thought you had all the secrets, I'm getting ready to share some more. We'll see you there on Babes in Business. Because there's no authenticity there. Hello. Ooh. Speaking of authenticity <laughs> behind the scenes, you won't know who we were talking about. I am Michelle Dempsey, your host of Babes in Business. Thanks for coming back. I have Faith Washington with me. She's amazing. I can't stop picking her brain, so I'm really glad she's here. I uh, just want to let you guys know that she is being generous enough to give away a free strategy session. If you give us a call, 888-565-1470, you'll be the lucky winner. Okay, so before the break, Faith, we were talking about what it means to be a good leader. Um, I want to hear a little bit about your story. How did you, because you've, again, you have the acronyms, you're highly qualified, you've done so many amazing things. 
Can you share a little bit about your story? Because I know that's what really resonates with the people who listen to us. Sure, sure. Um, I started out in a very small town in Indiana. Never intended to go to college. Got to my last, I don't know, six weeks into my last semester of high school and said, okay, I've got to go. I have to do something. I have to get out of this town. <laughs> and it's so, a small town yeah, girl. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm journeying so, in my head right now. <laughs> so I went to Purdue University and got my pharmacy degree. I enjoyed computers and psychology along the way, which really interested me, and the human body, which was really easy. Um, and then I got out, practiced, went to multiple, you know, Fortune 100 and 500 companies building multi-million dollar pharmacies for them. And at one point, I finally said, you know something, I think I need to be doing this for me. Not pharmacy, but something. I need to have a business yeah. of my own. So probably four or five years ago, the bug started to really percolate. And so I finally said, all right, I've got to do something about this. So I left retail pharmacy and was hired by a, a national chain to be vice president of pharmacy operations. Wow. Which was a, a lot of fun. It was very exciting. I learned, wow, I learned so much in that period of time working with them. Great, great couple of guys, great company. And uh, then I said, all right, you know what? This is still, this still isn't right. It's not the right fit. And so I hired myself a coach, and she had contacted me on LinkedIn. That's how we hooked up, and it's been amazing ever since. Really? So I just said, I'm going to do professional coaching. Would and you I had consider to, her now like your mentor, or you still yeah. utilize oh, she her still as a coach? Is. Oh, she's still a coach, still my mentor. Yeah, she's amazing. Wow, yeah. excellent. So let's talk about LinkedIn, because I'm pretty yes. sure you and I connected on That's LinkedIn. That's how I hooked up with you, exactly. That's how the magic has happened yeah. in a lot of ways for me. It's funny, you know, LinkedIn oh. is this beast of, <laughs> once you figure out how to use it, I it's mean, LinkedIn wonderful. is no, it's amazing. It, it really is. I mean, I'm, I'm, people are connecting with me every day that are actually authentic connections yes. with an email that says, hey, you live in my area. I think you should meet this person. And I, I find it fascinating. And I, I have really built a business that way. Has it been the same for you? It's the same. Absolutely. I reach out to people that I think have the wow factor. Somebody that I would like to connect with and 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 coach them or, or you know, something. Sometimes it's just connections. Sometimes you want to meet with someone and just get to know them. And then there's always, okay, I know three people that can help you in your business. Yes. So, I love that. I love networking for me. Yeah. I talk about it all the time. Networking has been my form of advertisement because I'm a strong self-promoter, as we all know. <laughs> you can unfollow me on Facebook if you don't like it. You can promote me. <laughs> I will promote Faith Washington. You heard it here first. Um, but for me, I think being able to go out and even if, like you said, if it's nothing more than just making a new friend and saying, hey, you know what, this person can help you out. There's such a strong connection between the people who network and I love that part of it and I mm -hmm. think it's you know I realize I think in my head I know so many people in business who are not out there networking and it goes back to the authenticity and the, the whole relationship. the relationships and the confidence thing and the unfortunately the people who are not as confident as they're giving off are the ones sitting at home behind their computers hoping for for something, something else. to happen right but you can't if you don't take action it won't happen you really have to get out and be with people. You have to have that love for people. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, I mean, unfortunately, critical. I guess that's something you can't teach, right? You can lead a horse to water. I don't know whether it's not teachable, but I think that when you clear some of the blocks that people have, the obstacles, the stories that they tell themselves, when you clear some of that, then it makes it easier for them to look at someone else and go, wow, you know what? They feel the same way I do. I didn't know they were nervous before they did this show. I didn't know they were nervous to get up and speak in front of people. I had no idea. And then you find that common ground, and so then they go out into the world and say, I can do this. It's not hard. That's how I feel. And you know what? I it, it, was, it was the opposite for me. It was so, I couldn't imagine. If you would have told me, Michelle Dempsey, you're going to get up and speak in front of thousands of women this weekend, I would have told you <laughs> on what planet. <laughs> Who am I to do that? But now I actually yeah. believe that I belong on I agree. that stage. And what a powerful shift of thinking that that is, right? So I think it's the work you do is probably the best work there is because you are able to take the people. It's like chess. You're able to put them in the right spot. And I, that's, to me, I think it's beautiful. But I want to talk about who you mentioned in the break. Oh, yes. Um, my friend Tim Goring um, does 
Sandler training. It's a sales training that's absolutely incredible. I, I wanted to give him a plug because hey, it's, Timmy, <laughs> I guess I'm calling you <laughs> <laughs> because it's so amazing. Yes, Michelle's going to call you, um, but he really does an incredible training, and I think every person we're all in sales. If you have a business, if you're an executive, if you are just a regular worker, you need this training. It's incredible. So is it like an energy, like a Tony Robbins kind of energy that makes no, you like... No, no, no. Tim brings something very different something to the different. table, but it's he's super sharp. He's very current, and he takes this regular... It's like a template of training from Sandler. Sandler's the name of the institute, and he uses that to kind of weave in his own stuff and it's incredible wow very well, powerful very to powerful check it out tim yeah. i mean this is a huge endorsement <laughs> yes <here>. it is <laughs> well you know what while we're on the topic who else do you credit with being like a really insightful besides your coach like who do you go to when it's you know you need clarity you need support or your people right. that influence you right um rachel scott that's actually my coach okay um, hi, hi rachel, rachel. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mark Feinberg has been a great business coach. He's really excellent also. Um, I think those are really the top people. My, my husband, with his wisdom, sometimes I'll ask him something random and he'll come up with something really, really wise to say. Um, my daughter's pretty wise. How old's your daughter? Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> Still a little one. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know it's it's no easy feat to do what you do with a, you know, being a mom and I think you too yes oh my god you're not kidding <laughs> shout out to my babysitter thank you for all your help. <laughs> no I think you know you when you find what you love and yes. and you know that it's it just appeals to you in every which way it it doesn't feel like work and you know that oh, it's wonderful time passes and you don't even think about so what it. is what does it look like to work with you are we talking you know six months a year it depends on the person when we have the initial conversation, two, three conversations before they make a decision and make a choice, um, we'll find out what it is that they really need. Sometimes it's a little longer because it's deeper, mm -hmm. because there are things that they're just maybe not willing to look at right away. Yeah. It could be three months. We'll start out with three months and see how they do, and then we'll go to a year if that's necessary. Sometimes it, it's you know three or four sessions. Everybody's different. Everybody's different. Yeah. And I think it's great that you're able to Flexible. authentically pull that out and say, right. you know what? You're not the mess you think you are. I, right? I give you a month, you'll exactly. be fine. Yeah, I think that's really great. <laughs> yeah, it is. And I think, you know, that that also is what's different about what I do because as a writer, people always say, How do you how do you connect? I, I put myself in the shoes of this person because I don't I don't want to over promise, I don't want to under promise. And I think again that it all ties back to that same leadership quality now that mm -hmm. you've called me a leader. Thank you. Yes. Um Give us, again, where we can find your book. I don't think you told us. Oh, First of all, look how beautiful. Okay, Thank Business you. Leader Success, an introduction to elite business leaders. I love it. Thank you. Where can we find it? Actually, it's on lulu.com, L-U-L-U.com. And you just search for the title, Business Leader Success, and you should be able to get it there. Actually, my publisher was supposed to get back with me today, and unfortunately, he didn't before I came on the show. <laughs> oh, publisher. No, but I think, you know what? I think the fact that you're able to take what you know and put it into the hands of people who I'm sure need it the most makes you amazing. Thank Give you. us again one more time where we can find you. Yes, you can find me at Faith Washington for you at gmail.com and the phone number is 561-702-3986. And I am your host, Michelle Dempsey. I'm so glad you joined us tonight. Um, I'm going to say it one last time. I promise after this week, you're sadly not going to hear it again, probably until next year. Saturday is the Women in Power Expo, thrown by Miss Alexa Carlin with 50 of the most amazing speakers in South Florida, me being one of them. And I can say that now. I'm speaking at 3.30 in room 315. We are at the Fort Lauderdale Convention Center from 10 to 5. I really hope you're there. I really hope you make an effort to come support the women in business in South Florida. It's going to be amazing. Um, if you ever need writing services, branding, content marketing, I'm your girl, michelledempsey.com. And of course, catch us live every week at 7. Like us on Facebook, Babes in Business WNN. And we'll see you next week with somebody who I love very dearly. See you next week.
Like they say, all good things must come to an end. But the good news is we'll be back next week with more tips, more secrets, and more strategies to empower you on your business babe journey. Did you like something you heard today or would you like to join us on the show? Please contact me now at 305-469-7500 or visit me on the web at www.michelledempsey.com. I look forward to connecting with you and helping you become a babe in business. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or sponsors.